Hey guys, um, it is me, Life Simmer, and welcome back to the Wolf Among Us episode 2, part 1. This episode was released February 4th, and it is called Smoke and Mirrors. I am too excited to play this, so uh, let's go ahead and jump into it. If it will load. <laughs> Mr. Toad? My man. Do something, Big B. Before he completely tears up the place. Whoa, 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 hey, hey! You've got something on your face. I Stop love her. Talking about you, stupid cur I love her so much. <laughs> You're not as bad as everyone says you are. Please, Big B. Promise me you won't tell Beast you saw me. Mm. I promise. Thank you for trusting me. Have you seen my wife? Have you seen Beauty? Come with me. No. Don't interrupt me, Miss Snow! You asked me a question. Don't change the subject. You are to blame for this unpleasantness, Miss Snow. <laughs> no, I'm D. He's dumb. Snooking J. Well. Would have this ever got back to him? If he ever thought you knew, or Miss White, he'd come back and kill my poor. I'm looking for the woodsman. Well, he's not here. Holly, you're out of paper towels, and uh, they're gonna string me up, Big B. Like you said, it looks fucking bad. It looks really bad, but I didn't do it. All right, I got a hundred bucks for the first bloke that can tell me something about a girl named Fuck Man. This fucking lab dog. I'm sniffing around this part of the world. Rich fucks in the woodlands need a shake. <laughs> Ain't that right, Big B? Now things are worse off than they've ever been. Well, that's not true. Right. We've had it worse, but not by much. Alrighty, so, uh, episode two. Let's get into it. Telltale Games releases another wonderful episode of The Wolf Among Us. The Walking Dead is amazing, and I cannot wait for the Game of Thrones. I'm so excited. Mr. Wolf! Upper West Side for Senate the following afternoon. If you just cooperate and answer the questions, you can go home. Maybe get some sleep. How are you feeling? I know it's been a long night for you. You look like you could use some rest. I'll be better when I find who did yeah. this, which I can't do while sitting in here. We all want the same thing here, Big B. Look. I know what you must be going through. Really, I do. But I could use your cooperation. You know, I hate to say it, but I don't think you do. Of course. You're... you're right. I can't imagine what you're going through right now. They're filming us. <laughs> We're getting questioned, for those who can't tell. What is it? Always trying to empathize with people. I know this must be hard for you. Do you? Do you fucking know? Have you had a friend killed and their head left at your fucking doorstep? <laughs> yeah. No, didn't think so. I fucking love Big B. Your nose is bleeding. You okay? You don't look so good. Detective Brannigan? I'm Detective Brannigan. Uh, yeah, I know. I just said that. Is there something? Do you hear that? <gasps> Is she okay? Please. Please. Uh, 
I'm sorry. What? Make it stop, please. What the hell? We have to go now. <gasps> what did you do to her? She'll be fine. It's just a memory wipe spell. Very expensive, but it works. The whole station will forget the last 24 <laughs> oh hours goodness. and everything they saw at the woodlands. Well, hurry up. Sorry if you guys keep hearing a chimp in the background. That's my brother playing League of Legends, and he is absolutely horribly loud, and I have been screaming at him for like an hour now. But anyways, sorry if you hear that. Whew. All right, so uh, he used a wonderful spell on these civilians. Um, good job, Bigby, for taking that. <laughs> Very good job. All right, so I guess the Woodlands are kind of going to do their own research on the serial killer. Since it is a fable. It would only make sense. They were recording we, uh, him, though. We found Tweedledee chained up to a post. That was your doing, correct? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, I don't know why you detained him. D was at the trip trap when Snow was left at the woodlands, so he couldn't possibly be involved in this mayhem. Bluebeard's currently interrogating him. There's two of them, D and Dunn. And they've been snooping around every crime scene I've looked at. That doesn't mean they're necessarily involved in the yeah. murders. Yeah. But they could be. I know what you're thinking, Bigby. It's been one full night and a slice of morning, and I already miss her too. You were a douche to her. What are you talking about? But I never get more. I guess it was a love hate thing. Oh. Now, for it to be snow, I've never been good with these sorts of things. It's hard. Yeah. It's hard. Our stories used to be so simple. We had a beginning, a middle, and an end. But ever since we moved to this awful city, everything's gotten so confused. Well, that's New York for Did you. Did she uh, give any indication to what she was thinking? When you saw her last, I mean. I don't know why, but I'd like to know that she was... She could come off as callous sometimes, but she wasn't really. She said that she wanted to change things. Make it easier for Fables to get help when they need it. She was so, so sweet for the most part. Just, wow. So it wasn't Faith. I really, really I liked what Faith. To say, Big B. We have to, have to put an end to this. It's been two murders in as many days. If we don't unearth our culprit, and soon, there will likely be another on our doorstep tonight. I'll get it done. Please, Bigby, for Miss White. I got it. <laughs> Bigby is amazing. The Woodland Luxury Apartments, where two murders have happened. That's not a very good answer, is it? Come on. Just tell me what I want to know. It will make things a lot less painful for you. In theory. <laughs> oh, were you planning on using that? I just <laughs> thought you really liked rubbing your little sword. What the hell do you think you're doing? Hello, Ichabod. Sheriff. Bluebeard. I was oh. just chatting with our new friend. You were supposed to wait for us to get back. I told you, if you want to be involved, you will do things my way. No violence! Whatever you say, Ichabod. Hello, Big B. I want answers, D. Oh, goody. 
I thought you wanted questions, and I was having so much trouble thinking of any good ones. Though I'd settled on, how's your head? You see what I've been dealing with? What are you going to do about this, Bigby? I'm glad you have a sense of humor. I hope that means you're willing to cooperate. Snow White is dead. Look, I didn't kill anyone. And I'm supposed to just believe you. You were with me when it happened, dummy. I still have questions for you, D. He has a big like ass a head. Personal problem. Yeah. This is ridiculous. Back in the alley, you mentioned your employer. Who is it? Who are you working for? <laughs> Why? You looking to change your occupation? I'm not fucking around here, D. All right, D. Let's get to know each other. I love Big B. <laughs> um. Yeah, let's show him the picture of Snow White. Fuck, Big B. Don't make me look at that. Just put that away. This is why we're here. Someone killed this woman, and we need to know who. I get it, I do, but I can't tell you what I don't know. Just tell me who your employer is. I'd mm -hmm. like to help you, but I can't. My brother and I, we got a thing about loyalty. We do our job and we keep our mouths shut. If we don't hold up our end, we don't get paid. Your brother? Where was he last night? I can't say. He could have been anywhere. Take your best guess. <laughs> he didn't do it, if that's what you're thinking. Then where is he? No, I'm not sending you after my brother. Look, I answered your question. Can I get my stuff back now? What did you find on him? Oh, uh, nothing of consequence, really. Money and a cigar. Oh, and uh, some whiskey. Just carry this around. Always handy that way. <gasps> Let's get him drunk. I couldn't hurt, I guess. <gasps> yes. When people usually get intoxicated, they start revealing some things. This isn't going to work. Don't you want to find out what happened to those girls? To Snow White? Uh, let me handle this. That's genius. So where's your brother? Look, mate, I'd like to help. I would, but I can't tell you where he is. Last time I saw him, we split up, and I went to find Faith. Yeah. I don't know where he is now. Um, but he didn't kill anybody. You were looking for Faith? Look, I went to her apartment. That's no secret. You saw me. No, there's more to it. You said you were trying to find something. All right, D. What did you want from Faith? Sorry, I can't help you. I'm not saying any more about it. All right. What about a cigar? What can we do with this? I'm saving that. <laughs> Real nice. Come on, D. What did you want from Faith? Sweet girl like her. Sweet? You think that girl was sweet? To us, she was. She was a fucking thief. Fucking sweet. Faith was plenty of things, but that ain't one of them. You still seem pretty mad about it. Hell, I ain't bothered. Wasn't me she stole from. Nah, she took something from my boss. Your boss? <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, that brings me back to my first question. Who are you working for? You're gonna get me in trouble, Big B. I can't answer any more of your questions. We're gonna you get out of him. You always carry this much cash. I've got a lot of laundry to do this week. What's it to you? I'm declaring a tax on uncooperative troublemakers. <laughs> you taking out a loan? You might not like the interest on that. 
You'll need to account for that. You can't just... There are procedures to be followed. Ichabod. We'll talk about it later. Go fuck Why yourself. Why don't you just tell me who you're working for? <laughs> Look, you're not a bad guy. I believe beauty on that one. But I can't give <gasps> you that Beauty? That's where I gotta draw the line. There's no way beauty would associate with a scumbag like you. What's wrong with me? You're telling me I ain't pretty enough? Yeah, we're real close. Ew. What do you mean by that? This was supposed to be a murder investigation, but you're treating this guy like a fucking house guest, Bluebeard? And not getting any answers from him this way. Snow White is dead. One of us. And you're going to let this ignorant shit walk out of here in one piece. Out of my way. I'll oh show my you how goodness. it's done. What the fuck? What do you think you're doing? Teaching him a lesson. Dude, I love this guy. Pay attention. Stop this right now! You enjoying yourself? Back off, Bluebeard. Come on! Bluebeard, stop. I like you. Please stop. I really do like you. Who is this? Snow. What? What's going on down here? What? Snow. What the? Uh, <laughs> what? You guys. The Wolf Among Us is absolutely one of the most interesting games I have played in a while. Wow. So, I mean, Snow White is a fable, right? Like, they all are. Didn't they say fables kind of work a little bit differently? I don't know. But welcome back to the Wolf Among Us. <laughs> wow. This is really getting interesting. I can't wait to get through this game and see the ending of it. I really can't. <laughs> wow. All right. Episode two, Smoke and Mirrors. There's Big B and Snow. Snow does not what seem happy. What was going on down there, Big B? Abusing a prisoner like that. I thought you were dead, Snow. And that makes it okay? I hope it was worth your time. Okay, you, you're gonna have to explain this. <laughs> I'm really not getting it yet. After a conversation in the taxi last night, I got a call from Toad. He said his son found a body. We thought it was Faith at the time. Getting her back here wasn't easy, but hopefully we'll find something on her to help us track down the killer. I should have been there, Snow. I tried calling the business office, but there was no answer. I couldn't find you, or anyone. So I took care of it. You had your head chopped off. Snow? What is it? Are, are you gonna be okay? I mean, uh, with all that's happened. I'll be fine. I just want to get to the bottom of this. Dude, this I just feel like... What is it? I just... I feel responsible in a way she looked just like me and maybe that's why she was killed whoa i don't think it's about so is somebody that looks like snow something else going on here oh my goodness maybe we just have to find out who did this and why she was glamoured to look like me oh she was glamoured to look like snow I mean, that's what it is right so What's our next move? Wow. Maybe you should lie low for a while? Until we figure out what's going on. And what? Sit around the business office twiddling my thumbs? Waiting for the big bad wolf to solve all my problems? That's not what I meant. Well then what did you mean? I told you, I'm tired of sitting around. 
I'm not going to be an errand girl for Crane anymore. I just want you to be careful. I almost lost you once. I'm and... not yours to lose. Oh. I just don't want you to die. <laughs> I'm sorry. I know it's dangerous, but I'm not helpless. I can take care of myself. All right, prove me wrong, Snow. Centuries. TJ is waiting inside. He was so freaked out last night, he wouldn't tell us much. Even now, he just stops talking altogether after a certain point. He's pretty shaken up, though, so try not to be too, you know. Myself. <laughs> right. <laughs> I really like TJ. He's really cute. <laughs> Alright, let's talk to him. See what exactly happened. I guess somebody glamoured a dead body to look like Snow White. That's crazy. TJ's over there. I don't know if you want to talk to him first or after, but let me know when you're ready to see the body. I, I want to be there. I want to see the body Afkin, first. Do you have a second? Of course, Miss Snow. All right. Um. Can I walk over somewhere? I mean, I don't know how to see the body first, um, but I definitely want to see what I'm dealing with here. So, check out anyone who fits that profile. You might start with Bluebeard. Right away, Miss Snow. All right. Are you ready to examine the body now? Yeah. Oh my goodness, I almost forgot. <sighs> Come on. Let's see what we're dealing with here. The Witching Well Chamber, the Woodland Building. So this is pretty much where they send people to die, or... Yeah, pretty much. Let's see. Definitely is snow. <laughs> a look-alike of snow. Definitely. But I wonder who it was. Wow. I didn't realize. This is weird. Yeah. The glamour is so effective, it's invasive. But just do what you need to do. All right. That's weird. I don't wear a brooch like that. Maybe it really belonged to her. Not part of the glamour. Looks like something from the homelands. Buffkin, do you recognize these symbols? No, nothing I've seen before. <laughs> I love him. Looks just like Faith's did. Did Dr. Swinehart ever get back to you about Faith? No. He said he wanted to run more tests. She got your perfume right. How would she know? How do you know what perfume I wear? <laughs> I can't fool this nose. All right. What, are the, what is this? Breath marks. She used Monday drugs? Looks that way. Pretty heavily, too. I hear they only go for the legs if they've used up the veins in their arms, or if they're trying to hide the marks. Anyway, it means it's not a perfect match to your leg, unless... Don't be ridiculous. Maybe she was trying to compensate with that perfume. Wait, if the glamour is supposed to make her look like me, shouldn't it be concealing things like track marks? That brooch, too. Why would it change everything else? I've never seen one this sloppy. It might just be failing. Glamours don't just fail. The witches upstairs know what they're doing. That's why they cost so much. Unless someone is making glamours illegally? It's not technically illegal, miss. It's not encouraged, for sure, but there aren't any laws specifically forbidding it. So there's some sort of black market for glamours? One would assume so. I imagine anyone with access to the proper books and training could theoretically produce a glamour. <sighs> Yet another thing to worry about. Black market or not, it's a pretty good match. 
Look at that. The buttons aren't exact either. There's an extra one here. So the glamour is not exact. She was tied up? There were cinder blocks tied to her ankles. Cinder blocks? So she would sink. Oh. Wow. Her fist is clenched. So she fought back? No marks on the knuckles. Oh. Maybe she was grabbing something? Maybe. Ugh. I'm gonna pry open her fist. What are you doing? Only way to find out. Oh my goodness. Jesus, Bigby. What is it? Flowers. Yeah. All right, that's, that's different. You're right. These buttons are wrong. So it's illegal glamour. What? Snow. I need to open her coat. Bigby, just let me. Are you still okay? I'm sorry, that uh, took longer than expected. Ichabod, go away. What have you found out? Her glamour is defective. Oh, defective? We are thinking it's black market. We should really be regulating this kind of thing. Yes. We should keep going. All right. What is that? She had the perfume with her. Looks like someone picked it out for her. So, someone gave her instructions. I've seen things like this before. It's definitely magic, though witches don't usually craft objects these days. I don't think it's wise to fool around with that. It's some kind of black market magic. Who knows what it could do? We should have it looked at. Just to make sure it isn't dangerous. You may be right. One way to find out. Huh. What? There's something in here. How do we open it? Might want to stand back if you're worried, Crane. I'm gonna try to open it. <laughs> something to do with these rings here. All right. Um. It's like a puzzle. For the most part, if I can tell that. Um, I think. I'm horrible with puzzles. Okay, it's supposed to make a deer, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. I'm really not good with puzzles. I never was, but let's see. I think that's what it is. Yep, it is. A deer. What does that mean? Oh. Oh my goodness. It's a picture of snow. Someone must have taken this from my apartment. And a lock of her hair. I noticed it was missing, but I didn't think this was the last picture I had of Rose and me. My sister and I don't talk much anymore. Mm. The creepy part is the lock of hair. <laughs> Let me guess. It's my hair. Yeah. Who did this, Big P? Mm. Oh my shit. She's a troll? You gotta be kidding me. Shit. Well, that helps explain the glamour. Kind of. <laughs> Who is she? 
That wasn't there before. Who do you think she is? I don't know many trolls, I'm afraid. She looks like Holly. The owner of the trip trap? No, she looks a little... Oh, no. What is it? It's not Holly. It's her sister, Lily. She was her sister, missing, Lily? But I guess it just slipped through the cracks. We have to go tell Holly. Right. Who knows? She might know something about this. Who Lily was seeing. Well, certainly another troll. <sighs> Ichabod, you're so useless. Like, why are you here? Do you want to talk to TJ first? I, um... Yeah. yeah, let's talk to him. I really wanted to check out to that thong. Me, but there's some business I need to attend to. We'll fill you in later. Good. Good. Damn it. I really wanted to look at that thong, but all right. We'll do. Let's go talk to my man oh, TJ. No. Alrighty, <laughs> guys. I'm actually going to go ahead and end this part here because clearly I have a screeching banshee living in my house. Um, I will see you guys in the next part when we go ahead and talk to TJ and explore whatever the heck is happening here in Fable Town. I am absolutely, like, distraught about all of this. I don't even know what to think. This is one of the, I swear, this is one of the only video games that has had me on my feet like this. This and The Walking Dead, both made by uh, Telltale amazing games. Both of them have me on my feet, but this one especially. I feel like this game, you know, because it is a mystery, it has me on my feet even more. It's amazing. I highly recommend The Wolf Among Us. It is amazing. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and end this part here. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye, guys.